New at 11, seven months after being deployed to Afghanistan, a local National Guard company is returning home just in time for the holidays. Jacqueline Kovac joins us from the Johnstown Newsroom with more on this special homecoming. Jackie? Marty, the Pennsylvania 252nd Engineer Company with the National Guard will be returning home after they left back in April for a deployment in Afghanistan. And again, about seven months later, they will be returning home to be with their friends and families just in time for the holidays. It was just seven months ago we were at the local National Guard Armory to say farewell to the 252nd Engineer Company as they left for what was to be a year-long mission. On Friday, these men and women will return home to Johnstown to share these same hugs. Only these tears will be tears of joy for those who will be coming back older and wiser. It teaches them discipline. Uh, and, and it teaches them to learn a chain of command. And that's exactly what we have in the fire service also. Many of these men and women are from the local area and left behind everything when they were called up for their country. The Nanny Glow Fire Department had two of their firefighters deployed together, and they're proud to have them both return home. It is a big deal uh, for us here in Nanny Glow uh, to have two of our own that actually went over and served their country and actually fought for us. Uh, that is a big deal. Uh, we take that to heart here in Nanilo. With lights and sirens blaring, the Richland Township Fire Department escorted the company out of town with their trucks and expect to bring the men and women home in the same fashion. Hundreds of people lined the streets to support the soldiers as they left, and many are asking community members to do the same when the men and women return home. We're going to give them an escort back into town. Uh, we're hoping to get the townspeople uh, to line the streets of, here in Nanny Glow and, uh, and show their support for them. Uh, once they get back into town, we'll just be here for support for them. Whatever they need, we'll be here for them. Now, again, those men and women will be returning home tomorrow afternoon. A time has not yet been set, so stick with WJAC-TV on our Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates. Reporting live in the Johnstown Newsroom, Jacqueline Kobach, 6 News.